It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beatsy. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Twilight star Cam Gidjigandy uh, to be evicted from his home. Allegedly owes twenty-one thousand in back rent. How did that happen when you, you were in Twilight? Aren't you getting some residuals from that? You got some residual payments coming from that one at least, right? Love the sweater, by the way. Twilight star Cam Gidjigandy has been slapped and slammed with a lawsuit over unpaid rent. The actor is being sued by the owner of the home for allegedly failing to pay an agreed amount of money for the past four months. Both Gedjigadan and his ex- estranged wife, Dominique Gizumrimturf, Jeisendorf, Dominique Jeisendorf, are named in the lawsuit. The owner of the property is suing the couple for unlawful detainer, claiming that they entered the residence lease for Los Angeles property, which they now allegedly breached. Look at him. I do kind of remember. I never saw the, the movies, but I remember that face right there. I remember the sweater more. All right? Nice sweater. Seriously. Who the hell made that sweater? And why were you like, mm, I'm going to wear that today. <laughs> right? Like you had a lot to choose from in the closet. You could have picked anything. You picked that freaking sweater. You have eyes. Are you colorblind? You could be colorblind. You're like, this is just blue. And you're wearing a blue sweater. I still think the design is a little weird. You know? But you're doing it. You got the pastelish sweater. It's going to match my eyes. Like I'm trying to pop, make my eyes pop. All right. Like I'm here popping eyes. All right. And he's doing an eye popping thing. According to legal documents obtained by The Blast, that's a top, you know, publication right there. He didn't pay his rent. And when you got a lease, you pay your lease or else you get, you know, retained and detained and you can't sustain. But you got to wear that sweater that's like in the lease. That's why he's wearing it. You chose the sweater. The suit claims that on August 25th, 2022, Jagadagad and Jeisendorf entered into a written residential lease for the property. The lease was for one year and thereafter became a month-to-month tenancy. Pursuant to the lease, the tenant's monthly rent obligation was $66.50. So I was off on that one. They breached the lease in which they have to fail to pay the entire rent for November through February. This means the couple owes a total of $21,000. Due to their failure to pay, the owner is seeking a repossession of the home. It's worth noting that Jigadagant and his wife, Giesendorf, are currently in the middle of a divorce the couple has yet to respond to the lawsuit. I'm pretty sure that the, he's wearing the sweater, you know, and he's like, oh, I'm good. I'm warm. I don't need a house. I got a stupid sweater. You know, I actually want to call him and find out where did you get that sweater? Do we have a phone here that I could try to give him a ring? Oh, okay. Old school. Hello? Cam. Yo, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Is my pizza ready? No. No, this is Mark Pyers. I'm the host of the uh, longest running daily variety show on earth. It's called The Mark Inspires. You gotta Ins- be kidding. This is Mark yeah, Inspires. Yeah, the Mark Inspires show. You've seen it. Dude, I'm a huge fan. What? You're a huge fan? Yeah, yeah I love it. <laughs> I had no idea that you're a humongous fan of the longest running daily variety show. But I'm proud to have you. You know, you should say hi and stop being a lurker. I like lurking. Are you lurking because of your stupid sweater? And you're like, I don't want people to know I'm here. So they remember, you know, they do the connection of the sweater and then it's you and it's Cam, you know. It's my favorite sweater. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Look, I just wanted to figure out where did you get that dumb sweater? I'm not, I don't know. I'll have to look. <laughs> yeah, go we'll find the receipt. <laughs> oh, I got to go find the receipt. Cam, go find the freaking receipt. All right, I'm looking. <sighs> Keep your mind off the divorce for a few minutes, you know, go do something else. You find the receipt, you see where you got it. Was this like a Bloomingdale's purchase? Did you get this from like a, you know, one of those little boutique shops there in Los Angeles? I really got to know because I'm, I'm looking to get one myself. You want to wear my sweater too? <laughs> no, not to wear, to burn live on the air. You want to burn my sweater? Yeah, no, I thought it'd be pretty funny if we, I'll play the guitar to it. Instead of burning a guitar, doing the Jimi Hendrix to the guitar, I'm going to burn your dumb sweater in effigy while I rock out. And we're going to play the national anthem to it. In effigy? Yeah. 
Why don't you burn a guitar? Yeah, because I would never do that to a guitar, Cam. But you'll burn my sweater? Exactly. Your, your sweater, I would do it every day of the year. My cool multicolored sweater. I was thinking about starting a bonfire event. That every day we start the bonfire with your stupid sweater. I, I think this is a one of a kind. You know, Cam, if I can't order in bulk, <laughs> you know, I don't want just the one. You know, I'd like to order in bulk. I'm thinking I need at least 365, one per day. We do a bonfire. I got the guitar. You know we go up to that note? Such a hard note. <laughs> yeah, nobody hits it. I'll hit it with the guitar. And the home of the... Of the sweater? Yes, of the stupid sweater. That's right. I'm still looking for the receipt. No, Cam, just text it over to me, okay? I don't have time. I'm on the air here. Yeah, I'm doing a show. I'm in the process. You know, we don't want to see an Elgato. I'm not really sure if that's happening, but we're just making sure we don't get an Elgato. You know, sometimes you get an Elgato. And that's no good either. Stupid Elgato. <laughs> you know the So Elgato. you're going to burn my sweater? How Look, Cam, kill? I can't explain everything to you. All right? All I know is that everybody in the chat right now, they're talking about your dumb sweater. Really? They all want to know where do they get one. They want to have, like, you know, parties where they just have all their friends over to laugh at the sweater. And then they're going to look at a picture of you wearing it. <laughs> yeah, he wore it. It's not my fault. No, that's on you, buddy. That's on you. Look, you could have worn anything that day. You could have picked anything out of your closet. You could have picked any other sweater. You chose that one. That's on My you. My wardrobe specialist picked it. Oh, your it wardrobe out. specialist picked it? You know, Cam, you should fire that wardrobe specialist. Who, who, you, who do you have as your wardrobe specialist? Delilah you? Montgomery Smith. Delilah Montgomery Smith? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a Delilah Montgomery Smith. You gotta be kidding me. You know she was fired by Tom Cruise. No, was she? Because he wore a stupid sweater. He did? <laughs> It's old news now, Cam. You're going to want to check that one out. Tom Cruise fires his ensemble coordinator, Delilah Montgomery Smith. Didn't she also inspire the song? Yeah, then they wrote the song about her. That's right. Look, she's a special lady, Delilah, you know? She sure is. Hey there, Delilah. Yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> they still, nobody wants to hire her. I'm surprised you, you took her. Yeah, I just want, just a side note, Cam. What's that? Sweater. Shut up. Shut up. You wore it. Delilah's to blame, you know. Hey there, Delilah, could you pick me out a sweater? I want it to be the worst sweater that I've ever seen. I will wear it. Oh, yes, I will. Those aren't the lyrics to Delilah. No, I know. I just rewrote it. Those aren't the lyrics. But mine are better, I think, you know. Yeah. Hey there, Delilah, don't you think my sweater smells? Yeah, it's the worst thing I have seen. And if you see it, you will turn to stone, you will. It's like the Medusa of sweaters. Oh, yes, you're frozen, right? Oh, it's the sweater that will make you puke, right? I'm going to do it. I'm going to write that one for you, Cam. You can drive around when you wear your stupid sweater, and you can listen to the song. Hey there, Delilah, I wore that sweater you gave to me. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's like the one your cousin gave you at Christmas. Oh. It is like my aunt's Christmas sweater. No, Cam, now I'm just vamping. I know. That one wasn't as good. But look, you know, we do our best here, Cam, on the Mark Inspire show to rewrite songs in the moment. When you have that stupid sweater on. All right, I'll tell Delilah. Yeah, tell Delilah. You know, like, look, don't send me out with the sweater. You know, give me something that's kind of making sense, that doesn't make me look like a complete moron. You know, because I'm here a moron in it, and I got the sweater on. You're there. Hey there, Delilah. You know, you're listening to your song over and over. You know, how, I gotta ask you one side note, Cam. How annoying is it that every time you see Delilah, she's listening to her song? So true. Hey there, Delilah. And you're like, all right, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Do you have a sweater I can wear, Delilah? I'll see if she has something better. Cam, gotta go. Look, I appreciate you, though, pal. A lot of fun. Doing a great job on that divorce. Pay the bill. You may want to do that. And burn the sweater. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Send me the sweater. I may have to send it out to China, have them reproduce it, because you said you don't know where you got, you got it at this point, right? I'll find it, Mark. Uh, you know, we're looking for solutions here, Cam. Looking for solutions. I'm thinking a bonfire a day, burn the sweater, you know, effigy, playing the Jimi Hendrix, you know, national anthem. It's the start to the show every day now. 
and we'll put the photo of you in the corner. How about that? With your, your, with your stupid sweater. I but it made your sweater. eyes, yeah, it did make your eyes pop. You're right about that. You, you nailed it, Cam. Good job. You really think so? <sighs> no, Cam, this is called sarcasm, you know? <laughs> you know you're an actor, you don't even know what sarcasm is. You know, sometimes, Cam, you gotta go back to school, you know? I think you should go back to the beginning. Go back to the to the top. Your first class, first comedy class. You're holding the glass, you know, and and it's an empty glass. And now you got you got a couple of ice cubes in that glass, and you're taking a drink from the glass. You wouldn't go like this with a glass. You grab a glass like this, right, and then you're drinking it. And you drop the glass, and you wipe your 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 mouth a little, right, Cam? You grab that glass again. A glass of water. I'm pouring, pouring the water on my head. Kim, that was class number one. We just went back. We did it. You know, Lee Strasberg came. He wanted to meet you. He came back from the dead. He was my favorite teacher. He just wanted to see the sweater. You know. You think you're gonna wear it? You know. I wear it all the time. Goodness. Anyway, look, I gotta go, Cam. You gotta go. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, we'll see uh, in the uh, chat. I'm yeah, sure everybody's no, laughing at chat. you right now. They're not laughing. You're at a goofball. Look, goofball. yeah, you're a total goofball. I think. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. No, I'll see you later. Uh, Thanks, yeah, Cam. I'll see you later. Gosh, Almighty, guys. You know, I mean, sometimes when you're talking to a star, <sighs> you know. I always have to wonder if that stuff is funny or not. To me, it's hilarious. Making a fake phone call to Cam about his dumb sweater. That is a terrible sweater. <laughs> what a terrible sweater he's wearing. I love it. Uh, is this ugly sweater day? We're going out yeah, with the worst sweater we can find. You win. We're giving you an award, pal. We're going to put you on the billboard. Stupid sweater day, winner. Cam Mifnevichner, given gnagged, gigging dead, gigadet, whatever the frick his name is. Cam, dumb sweater guy. His eyes popped though, guys. His eyes popped. <laughs> the new owner is demanding for restitution of the reality. So I guess that's basically it with his sweater. Look at that. He's sweatering it out. Look at that. They got a better photo of the sweater than I saw. Hold on. There it is. That's a better sweater. This one here, we're watching this one for the whole bit. This is the better sweater shot. Look at me. I got a cool sweater. Who told you it was cool? <laughs> Delilah did? You know, it's unbelievable. Yeah, there's a Lila. I got your stupid sweater on again. And a candy cane in my pocket. Yeah, it's never the same. Oh, goodness. Like those colors, right? I'm going to go with blue, pink, orange, light blue, and white. I'm throwing it all on there. What? Yeah, I'll throw a candy cane in my pocket. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door, leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.